It was August Kohler, an early member of the Carl Zeiss Corporation, who in 1893 developed the most important specimen lighting technique to date. Bearing his name, Kohler illumination is a method of optical alignment that helps the user produce an evenly illuminated visual field with good contrast and maximum sample detail. In this video, we'll cover Kohler illumination on the Axio Observer microscope. The Axio Observer is Zeiss's flagship inverted microscope intended for a wide range of academic and industrial applications. If your microscope is equipped with a halogen or HAL lamp housing, be sure that you have aligned the HAL bulb before setting up Kohler. This process is covered in the companion video, How to Align and Focus Your HAL Lamp for Kohler Illumination. Switch on the observer via the power supply box and the power button on the stand. Open the field diaphragm located on the transmitted light arm and swing the lollipop filter changer out of the light path. Open the aperture diaphragm located on the condenser to its widest open position. If the condenser allows for multiple contrast methods, set the current method to H for bright field. Sometimes this is labeled BF. Swing in the 10x objective or whichever lens you are using. Proper Kohler can only be set up for magnifications of 10x and greater. Make sure that your reflector turret is set to a bright field position, or a DIC position if no empty positions are available. Use the manual roll wheel or touch screen to do this. If an analyzer slider is installed beneath the reflector turret, slide it to the open position or remove it completely. Set the Optivar to 1x via the roll wheel under the reflector turret or via the touch screen or central button on the focus knob. Direct the optical path to the eyepieces. Either manually rotate the light path selector or change the path via the touch screen to 100% viz, as seen on the home screen. On the binocular tube, move the selector to the eyes symbol and remove the Bertrand lens if equipped. Set the correct interpupillary distance for your eyes and adjust the diopter setting appropriately. Use the red dot if a reticle is installed. If necessary, press the TL button to turn on the light or open the shutter. Turn up the transmitted light via the roll wheel on the front of the stand. You should be able to look comfortably through the eyepieces. Tilt the transmitted light arm backwards to the stop. Place your high contrast stained specimen slide face down on the stage. The cover slip should face towards the objective. Tilt the transmitted light arm back down into place. Lower the condenser completely by rotating the condenser focus knobs. Look through the eyepieces. Focus on your specimen using the microscope focus knobs. Color alignment is based off of this objective focus. Make sure that your sample remains in focus for the rest of the alignment steps. Relocate the field diaphragm. While looking through the eyepieces, roll the dial to the right to close the field diaphragm until the blades, in focus or not, come into the field of view. The field diaphragm controls the beam diameter of your lighting. Raise the condenser by rotating the condenser focus knobs until the field diaphragm blades come into focus. Center the field diaphragm using the silver centering screws over the condenser. Reopen the diaphragm by rolling the field diaphragm control to the left. Open the diaphragm until the image of the blades just leaves the field of view. Remove one eyepiece. While looking down the binocular tube, close the aperture diaphragm located on the condenser to about two-thirds the size of the illuminated view. Replace the eyepiece when complete. Setting the aperture diaphragm opening too small will steal resolution from your image. Never use this diaphragm to control the brightness of your illumination. Use neutral density filters instead. Your microscope is now set up correctly for a range of transmitted light techniques. When changing magnification, be sure to recolor the microscope for optimal viewing. 